Good evening slash good morning, everybody. Uh, Pinball here. Tonight I wanted to do, or this morning, however you want to look at it, I uh, wanted to do a video a little bit different than we kind of normally go through things. Uh, you know, as preppers, we're all worried about stuff, okay? You know, it's either food to have or gear to have or skills to have, all different things that you can collect and gather, okay? What I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about here is mindset, okay? Uh, we all know prepping is hard work. Uh, we also know it's stressful. I mean, we're thinking a lot of times about scenarios we really don't want to think about. Uh, you know, we're <laughs> literally preparing for bad shit to happen. And... You know, because that's on our mind, it gets a little stressful and, you know, just a little overcoming, okay? What I wanted to talk about was gratitude. And gratitude is something that we've all experienced on both sides. You know, both sides of it, you know, somebody being grateful or somebody being a complete ingrate. You know, you can really change somebody's mood by being nice, being grateful, being polite. You know, we are, we're all taught when we were kids, you know, say please and thank, thank you and yes, sir, and no, sir, and just being polite, okay? But in the situation that we're all in right now with COVID and with the election coming up, you know, everybody's really hanging on by fingernails right now is the best way I could it. I mean, could be financially, could be physically, could be mentally, whatever it would be. But everybody's really on edge. And so this is why I wanted to talk about gratitude. Uh, and a couple of things I witnessed today is the reason for having this conversation. Uh, you know, had one, one incident where I witnessed where Two people that didn't know each other from Adam 24 hours ago had a great conversation, very grateful to each other about how they were able to help each other. Okay. And that was very uplifting for me just to see that is, you know, there's still goodness in this world. Okay. I also witnessed a situation where one person was completely ungrateful to to another person, like they were owed something. Uh, and that has a tendency to really tear people down, okay? it It's not a good feeling to be, you know, the one that would be on the, on the receiving end of that, you know, where somebody was completely not grateful, whatever, what the other person had done. And, you know, looking at this from an outsider's point of view and with a prepper's mindset, I can really see how that could carry over longer term, you know, go home at the end of the day and all of a sudden somebody was really pissy to you. And so now you come home and you you take it out and you're pissy on your spouse or pissy on your kids or you go kick the dog or something like that. Is that, what I looked at is, is that the way that I want to to be in my life? And obviously the answer was a resounding no. I mean, my personal thought is I try to be as good to everybody as I can. Uh, a lot of times at my own personal sacrifice, and I know I'm not poor, poor me by anything like that, but I've always tried to do the best I could for other people. And regardless of, you know, whether there was anything in it for me or not. Okay. It's, that was never my motive. I always wanted to be the person that, when somebody finished having a conversation with me, they walked away with a good feeling. Not that it always happens, guaranteed. Okay, I've had plenty of times where that hasn't happened. And, you know, certainly a divorce would be one of those. You know, that was not amicable by any means. Uh, so no, I mean, I I try to practice what I preach, but you know, I can't walk on water. You know, so uh, certainly I'm not perfect. I just you know, it's, it's kind of what we we strive to be. You know, to be grateful to one another. You know, to be thankful for one another because human beings are social animals. Okay, 
yeah, you have the person who could be Grizzly Adams, live out in the forest for the rest of their life all by themselves and be perfectly happy. That's, you know, the point oh 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 one percent of the population out there. The rest of us all need, you know, other people in our lives. And, you know, we really need to have relationships that are solid and good and, you know, friendly and everything. You know, you certainly don't want to be in, a, in an antagonistic uh, aggressive type relationship. I mean, not between family members, not between neighbors, not between coworkers, nothing of the sort. So what I kind of wanted to put a challenge out to everybody to do here is to think of a little bit of the people that you are thankful for, but outside your, the normal ones you think of. I mean, sure, we're all thankful for our spouse. We're all thankful for our kids. You know, we're thankful for our families and our friends and everything like that. But what about some of the other people out there who, without them, who are completely off in the distance and you really don't even know they exist? Just think of what life would be without them. And I'll give you some examples, okay? Let's talk about the cashier at the grocery store or the guy who's stocking the shelves at the grocery store. Thank God for the last nine months, they've gone to go do their job you know, at risk to themselves, mind you, you know, because without them, all that stuff that you have stocked in your pantry isn't in your pantry, okay? Uh, or go back even further. What about the truck drivers who, who got all that produce and meat and canned goods and everything like that to the grocery store you can buy? You know, if it's not for them, again, your pantry's empty. You know, what about the UPS guy, the FedEx guy, your mailman, uh, whatever it would be? You know, without them, all those Amazon packages you bought didn't show up, okay? You know, you can talk about doctors and nurses and firefighters and cops and the military. And I think, for the most part, anybody with the brain, uh, you know, recognizes that doctors, nurses, firefighters, cops, the military are good people who are there to... Uh, you know, help us in time of need. But think about the ones that, that aren't, like I said, you know, the, the folks in the grocery store, the folks at the post office, you know, whatever would be, uh, you know, the guy out fixing the electrical line, you know, down the street, you know, out there in his, uh, what do they call them? Uh, I want to say bird's nest. Uh, you know what I mean? I can't think of what the thing's called. You know, but he's up at the top of the pole, connecting wires or doing whatever he does. You know, it's because of that guy that you went home tonight and, you know, the lights came on and the stove came on and you were able to cook dinner. You know, here's the challenge I want to present to everybody. And maybe if you all do this, you know, maybe if everybody did this, I'd say, you know, maybe we get back a little bit to uh, a little more cohesive nation. You know, so the next time you're at the grocery store, you know, just tell the cashier, hey, you know what? Thanks for being here. Thanks for, you know, coming to work today and, you know, being here so I can buy groceries. Or, you know, your postman or something like that. If you catch them when they're delivering a package, hey, thanks. You know, I really needed stuff. Really appreciate the fact that, you know, you're working today and, you know, you brought me this because I really needed the medicine, the bullets, the whatever came in the, in the mail today. And you'd be amazed how much that will change their day. They could be having an absolute garbage day, okay? I mean, if you think about the the average guy who's driving the delivery truck, you know, he doesn't have a whole lot of interaction with people. It's get in the truck, drive to the next house, put the package on the doorstep, drive off and go. And you know, who knows, maybe he had a fight with his kids this morning or, you know, the boss told him he had to work Saturday and, you know, he didn't want to because he's a big college football fan or, you know, whatever it would be. And by you telling him, hey, you know what? I really appreciate what you're doing. You may have changed his mood for the day. And maybe that now he goes into the next house he goes, he says something friendly. And they do it. And it goes on and goes on. And it, it, it becomes very contagious, okay? And in the world we're living in right now, we could use a whole hell of a lot more friendliness and a whole hell of a lot of ungratefulness, I guess, if you will. We're all so self-centered and, oh, I got to do this for me and I got to do this for me and I've, I've got to get it and everything like that. 
And there's all these other people out there that they're going through the same stuff we are, maybe with a different mindset or whatever. But if there's one way that you might be able to change their outlook a little bit, it's just by being grateful a little bit. And unfortunately, I see too much of the hurry up and get out of my way. I'm busy. I've got something to do. Uh, you, you know, you don't know what's going on in that person's life. You know, you're taking a snapshot of something. It's like, oh, the person rang up my groceries. Good. Here's my, excuse me, here's my credit card. And, you know, good. And you don't know if that person came to work today and, you know, their grandmother's in the hospital or, you know, their dog just died or something like that. And they could really use, you know, something positive. So, I put that challenge out to everybody to just be a little little grateful of what you have and what somebody else might have done to get you there that really is underappreciated for it and how you might be able to change the outlook of their day, their week, their month, their life, for all you know. Uh, you know, a little kindness goes a long way. And I just wanted to share that with everybody tonight. I thought it might be a good topic to maybe help everybody bring down the temperature a little bit, you know, the stress level, the worry, everything, because obviously we're all going through a lot of it. But if you can help somebody else reduce their stress, just think of how you'd feel if somebody said something like that to you, you know, hey, thanks for being my neighbor. Thanks for, you know, watching my house. Thanks for picking up my mail or whatever. Uh it might make you feel a whole lot better, a little more relaxed, and a little less stressful. So that's what I got tonight. Take care, guys. You know, prep for the best or prep for the worst. No, it's my own saying, and I can't get it right. <laughs> you know, pray for the best, prep for the worst. Other than that, pinball out. See y'all.